now our PVT has been matched. PVT model has been matched with our data, so it's proper analysis. And you can see this sign as well, PVT is matched. And now we will enter the IPR data section. We will model the IPR using Darcy's equation. Okay, and for mechanical geometrical skin, we will use Karakastarik equation. And for deviation partial penetration skin, I will select Chincho Martin Brown's correlation. Again, you need to familiarize yourself with Karakastarik and Chincho correlation to get the skin factor. And reservoir temperature, for example, 4800. Reservoir temperature, that's for reservoir pressure. Reservoir temperature is 210. And let's say the water cut is zero. Okay, with total GOR 8 head of 800 standard cubic feet per stock tank barrel. And now reservoir model. Reservoir permeability 50 millidarcies. Thickness of the reservoir 100. Drainage area 500 acres. DHC factor 31.6, so it's circular reservoir, radial reservoir. The shape factor, DHC factor is 31.6. But if you know the configuration, you can also calculate the DHC factor by opening this section. You input the length with distance to site D1 and distance to site D2 according to your, maybe you check the subsurface map, structure map, right? And you can input like this one. This is the, the, the sketch. But let's say we have radial reservoir. So click done and click cancel. Let's say 31.6, that's for radial reservoir and well bore radius 0 0.354 in feet. And mechanical geometrical skin, because we have perforation, okay? So we need to input the damage, the, the, the skin factor calculation based on Caracas Tarik. So you can follow me, shot the reservoir permeability 50 millidarcies, shot density 8, perforation diameter 0 0.43, perforation length 9.2 inches. So the, the, the length of the perforation. Perforation efficiency 90%, so it's 0 0.9. There is damage zone thickness, for example, 8 inches. So there will be damage zone if you perforate your well. Okay, you need to know that. With damage zone permeability, 25 so it's half of the original permeability and crush zone thickness for example 0 0.2 with crush zone permeability 12.5 so it's a quarter of the original reservoir permeability okay and then shot facing 120 degrees well bore radius already and vertical permeability 5 millidarcy. So it's 10% of the horizontal permeability. And then we need to input deviation and partial penetration skin. For example, deviation is 13 degrees, penetration 1. So we will perforate all the thickness of the reservoir and the vertical permeability of 5 millidarcies. And now we input the sand control parameters. Okay, so you again, you need to familiarize yourself with gravel pack properties. Uh, in this case, the gravel pack permeability, for example, 35,000 millidarcies, perforation diameter 0 0.43, shot density 8, gravel pack length, for example, 6 inches, perforation interval 100 feet, Deviation 13, perforation efficiency 0 0.9, and beta factor method calculated. Phase choice, we will select multi phase. Open the drop down menu and select multi phase. So far, so good. We can just click calculate. And now we get the AOF, absolute open flow, 18,000 stock tank barrel per day and beta factor calculated. 
So click plot results, rate and pressure, click done. So this is our IPR. And we get the calculated skin. Skin is 1.58, perforation skin is 1.60, Deviation skin is minus. Yeah, deviation skin is minus, but it is not good. It's not big. It's just minus 0 0.016. So, for example, again, if you have well test data, you can input here. For example, we have two well test data. Liquid rate of 4,000 shock tank barrel. For example, the the pressure is 400 4100 and the next one is at for example just for example 10000 stock tank barrel the flowing bottom hole pressure is for example 2850 you can click done and you see the black boxes our well test data for example but the most important thing is the IPR so click finish click done done so we have completed the ipr and the next one again we need to input the well configuration 